I wanted to update all my friends. All this that you see behind me, this living room that I've been filming from for the last two years is going to change. Um, the underlying secret is I don't know exactly where yet that I'm moving. <laughs> but 2010 is going to bring a lot of changes in my life. A lot. I just also want to say that I'm always following the blogs on my favorite subject topic, and that's Ubuntu and Linux. Linux in general, but especially Ubuntu, which I'm using ex-Ubuntu. But it's, it's all the Ubuntu family of operating systems I'm just so interested in. I want to I want to send a special invitation out there. If any of you watching this are Ubuntu and are Linux users, please subscribe to me. I want to be able to build this channel with with more fellow Linux users. And if you have subscribed to me and you know of some other fellow Linux users, please point point them in my direction. I, I'd be glad to subscribe to them as well. You know, we could we could follow our videos. And of course, I, I I like to talk about all things technology, about cameras, about you know Windows and Mac and everything else. But I, I admit that lately I started this channel recently with a friend of mine, and my emphasis now has really been with Linux, and I'm pretty proud of that. And for those that have an open mind to watch my videos, even if they don't go near Linux, that's all right because I try and keep it keep it flavored and entertaining. You know, it's it's pretty fun that way. When I when I come up with some good tools and, and things to do and show you. I, I certainly will. Happy New Year, everybody. 2010 is, is here. Go Linux! Hey guys. I, I, I'm like, I'm like a, a child on, on Christmas Day, I just did something for the first time, and that is I have a whole different operating system right here. <laughs> I was using I was using my flip cam um, on a, a number of occasions during it, from the time that I pulled it off of the Ubuntu website to the time I was installing a few things. Not the whole time. I mean, it's been a few hours getting it from one to the next, the flash drive to my to my netbook, but it was time consuming and simple. I'm not griping at all. Now I'm dealing with an operating system I just need to learn more about and, and play with a bit. That's going to probably take a little bit more time itself. I might be talking to a few of my friends here on YouTube, like, oh, if I can just name one or two, but not leaving more of you out there if you're saying, well, I know this too, like Things in the Web and Fedora for the win and a few other people that you know have this. I downloaded Ubuntu Remix, Netbook Remix, but when I when I installed it, it looks like I just installed regular Ubuntu. That's fine. I just I just want the ability to go and play with it that's not Windows. I was so sick and tired of Windows XP. I only used it because I've used it for so many years. But I forgot that, you know, at work I had my army of IT experts that ran everything in the background. Now I was using it for home again and it's it's installing updates all day long and constantly having to scan the system for viruses and no, everything, nothing you haven't heard before, whether it's XP or Vista, it's, it's still Windows. And so I'm trying to get out of that environment. I, I am dual booted here on my... Here on my, oh, I got to show you. Okay, I'm dual booted. Uh, the C drive is, is Windows XP. They want to get rid of that and hurt the system and do who knows what. I put this on the other drive that was available, which happened to be my D drive. I will be trying to get more information because I'm such a beginner. I mean, one time I, I was in the desktop environment for Ubuntu and I was clicking all these places and probably just not patient enough and my mouse froze. That's I couldn't click anymore. Um, I control delete and that worked on this but I had restart the whole system but 
thing. It's just it's a little bit slower. I'm just guessing it's because it's brand new. It's being fired up for the first time. I'm hoping that's the case. Again, I'll, I'll be I'll be speaking with some of you in Skype or something, you know, and get getting some help that way. But the easy part is it's here. It is here. This is great. I'm going to be working with with Mac OS. It's still my favorite system. Is Mac. That no. Quit. The noise behind me lately is because we're watching some neighbors' dogs. This little business on the side we do. All right, this is just a really fast movie post on iMovie. Just want to record this and get it up to you. I have some other footage here. I'll probably do a much cooler version out of Final Cut showing you what I was seeing and some nifty special effects that way. But uh, I just couldn't wait just to tell you this. This is awesome. I haven't seen a new OS myself since Windows 95. My basic history is I'd seen old computers during the 80s, but I can't say uh, I, Commodore 64 actually worked on, if I can say that. But since, uh, since the early 90s, you know, I've been working in Apple the whole time, and then I saw Windows and Windows 95. But now, that was 95. Here I am almost 15 years later. Yes, I'd seen all the videos of YouTube. I heard a, a, lot, of, a lot of my friends here at YouTube with other operating systems, but for the first time... I have it right here, here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and just pass, uh, open it right now. Okay. Cool musical tone. <laughs> really, really neat. I know what this looks like to most people. Wow, it's a desktop picture. Now what are you going to do? Well, tonight I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed. It's midnight. Hopefully I get some sleep. I'm just so, I'm happy as a school child right now. This is not over. This is just the beginning. Good night, all.